Welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today we're going to take a look at customizing the Pi for you. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Before we jump over to the video, I've got to give a shout out to these five gentlemen. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Okay, so this video doesn't have a lot to do with uh, ham radio per se, but it's just a way that you can kind of add a few little uh, extra touches to your Raspberry Pi. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to do is I want to add some weather information so that when I'm using my Pi in the shack, I can kind of glance up near the clock and see what the current weather is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click in this uh, gray bar up top. Now if your menu is down at the bottom, obviously you'll do the same thing uh, down at the bottom. But I'm just going to right click and I'm going to say add, remove, uh, add or remove panel items. Once this window opens up, let's go ahead and click add again. And let's scroll to the very bottom. And we want to pick up a weather plugin right here. So we'll go ahead and click Add there. And then uh, it's still highlighted here after you click Add. Let's click Preferences. And then let's click the Set button right here, because right now we don't have an area uh, configured. So we'll click Set, and I'm going to enter uh, my zip code, so 37130, and say OK takes it a second to search for it and uh, then it'll return what options it has uh, in the database. So I'm uh, not in France, Germany, or the Ukraine, so I'm going to choose the US. Let's say OK there. And then I don't want to have to update this manually. I want it to automatically update every 20 minutes. And I'll just leave the source as open weather map. And let's go ahead and choose OK and then we can close out of that window. Now you'll notice up here we have this new icon. So currently it's 50 degrees uh, here uh, in my location and we've got clear skies. The little orange uh, indicator right there says that it's sunny today. I've seen little clouds and other little indicators, uh, little icons that they use uh, for that. Now one thing about this, it's a little too close to the edge over here. So we can help move that over just a bit. Let's go back in and let's choose Add again under these panel preferences. And this time I'm going to come down and add a spacer. So we'll click Add. And then I'm going to choose my Preferences uh, button again. And as I increase this, you can see the weather uh, information move further and further from uh, the right hand side of the screen. Now, don't really need that much, but maybe uh, let's try nine or 10. Yep, that looks pretty good. So we'll just leave that there. And you can also come up here and left click on your temperature indicator, and you'll get this nice uh, little pop-up window that tells you uh, a bit more information about your current weather conditions. Okay, now something else that I like here, uh, I'm going to right click again and choose Add Remove panel, uh, panel Items. And then we're going to choose Add again here. Scroll down until you see the directory menu. We'll click on it and then click Add. Now you get this new icon up here. When you click on it, it gives you a list of all of the directories uh, on your Pi. Well, I say all of them, all of them that you have ownership of. You can't go back to, uh, it won't display anything that's owned by root, but it does give you everything that's owned uh, by your user. Uh, and kind of the cool thing about this, so let's take the downloads folder here, for example. Not only can I just click open and it opens to my downloads directory, but I can also say open in terminal and it'll go ahead and open the terminal and get me into the downloads directory. So it kind of saves us uh, from having to type, you know, open the terminal and then type CD space downloads. We can kind of do it in just uh, one or two clicks using that method. 
Now, one more thing I want to show you guys, uh, and I wish I could remember the gentleman's call sign that, that showed me how to do this. Uh, he kind of walked me through it one day on the phone, and it's, it's fantastic information I wanted to uh, share with you guys because I didn't even realize this was possible. In other flavors of Linux, uh, you can have multiple workspaces or multiple desktops, and I never thought that was actually possible on the Raspberry Pi until he showed me how this is done. So it's kind of a cool little hidden feature that uh, I was just unaware of. So let's open up the terminal and let's type Oscar Bravo, C-O-N-F, Charlie Oscar November Fox. And let's go ahead and hit return. Now you're gonna notice some critical errors here, but I'm really not worried about that. It doesn't seem to have uh, any negative impacts on it. But you'll get this new window called Open Box Configuration Manager. Uh, so let's come over to the left-hand side and let's choose Desktops. And I'm going to add just one additional desktop uh, to what's going on now, or to what I currently have. So next I'm going to highlight that first one, give it a couple of clicks, and I'm gonna rename that to Primary. And then we'll do the same thing for the second one and I'm going to rename it uh, Secondary. All right, and let's uh, go ahead and just close out of this window. Now, after we've got that done, we'll go ahead and close out of the terminal window. Again, we're gonna come back up here to uh, the menu bar and right click, and we're gonna go back to the Add and Remove Panel Items one more time. Let's go to Add right here and let's choose desktop number, workspace name, and say add. Now again, if you look up here, that's very close to the edge of the screen. So just to make it look a little bit better, I'm gonna come back into the panel preferences, click add one more time, and I'm going to come back down and add another spacer. We'll choose preferences after we add it, and we can move that spacing up to get it away from that very right hand edge. We'll say OK and we'll go ahead and close this out. Now uh, let's give you a quick demo just in case you're not familiar with working with multiple desktops. So I'm going to just open uh, the, the file browser here and we have this going on. If I go up here to the desktop name in the top right corner and I click on it I'm going to change from primary to desktop 2. Now sometimes it does take a reboot uh, to get these names to uh, stick correctly, so I'm not sure why it's not saying secondary right now, uh, but at least primary stuck for us. But what happens is you have a completely new desktop here. So I can open, uh, say, the terminal window on this desktop, and again, clicking on those desktop names in the top right corner, will allow me to swap back and forth between my primary and secondary workspace. And you could add four or five of these uh, desktop spaces if you wanted to. And then you can choose which, uh, which desktops each item appears on. So let's say, uh, let's go ahead and open the web browser. We'll give this just a second to open up. And guys, this is a brand new Pi, so everything uh, is just as it is out of the box. I have not uh, updated anything on this one. Uh, but anyway, let's assume that we want to see the browser on both desktops. I'm going to go up to the uh, top bar here and right click, and I'm going to say Move to Workspace 2. And now that is gone. It's not on my primary workspace but if I go over to the other desktop, it's on that. Now maybe you want it uh, on both desktops. So uh, as a ham radio operator, I may have different things going on on different desktops, but I wanna see, let's say FL rig, because that's my rig control. I want that on both desktops simultaneously. Well, that's easy to do. You just right click up here, and where it says move to workspace, choose all workspaces. So now on desktop two, I've got the browser open and the terminal open. And then over on desktop one, I get the browser because I told it to go to all of my workspaces. And I have uh, the file explorer open here. 
So there's just a few more little uh, tips for you, uh, ways that you might want to customize your Raspberry Pi and make it a bit easier to work with on a day-to-day -day basis. All right, guys, I hope this one helped. We will see you on the next video. Until then, 7-3.